Okay, hello. Uh, this is a quick demo of a tool that I've been using and uh, developing. Um, I'll put the, the script up on my website when I'm happy for other people to just download it. Um, cause there's a few minor bugs still at the moment, but let's just use... Uh, so these quick links basically just let you create the normal curves that you've got out on Maya. Just uh, for speed. So let's change it. That's a little bit more interesting. Okay. So if you select it and we're going to choose emitter type curve, you've got the on um, the normal default settings. Then you can choose whether you want particle or m particle. I'm just going to use normal particle. And then you can uh browse to the image sequence that you want. So if there's ten images in the sequence, you just put ten there and then select it and um, and then just hit make me. So let's put this up to 500. So you can see it's uh, emitting. If you hit Dynamics UI, you'll get a new box. And let's ramp it up. So let's put it to 1000. Make it live for longer. A little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. So it's just it's just basically connecting to expressions, really. But it just means you don't have to write the expressions uh, every time. So it's just something to speed things up. You can obviously change. You've still got access to all the default um, Maya particle settings and everything built in. It's just to to start start the scene off quicker. Um, so you've got control color this ramp let's make it a bit more so nice white and then transparency we can change it so that let's swap around the other way so it fades so basically uh, where the black is now, that's that's. If I bring it in much closer, it fades out. It, the transparency is much stronger, and the further away it is, the it's more opaque. So, got a nice little. Obviously, you could animate the curve, and it'll give a little nicer effect. So, if you've got a rig or anything like that, it'd make it easy. You can just emit from. The rig, so you've got the surface. So when, as the character moves, you could have it emitting off that. So there we go. Let's just loop that. So now it should loop. Not very nicely, but it's looping. Got a nice little pop in there. Um, so you've got all of those options, you've got twist, you've got all the extra options as well. So you've got so if you want it to come out faster, I just want it to go in that particular axis. So you can get some cool sort of I've also got so you've got random speed. It's just all the normal default um options you get. But just easily accessible. So, so we've got all of this here. And we could actually let's make a square it's less heavy. So, if we just make that, and if with the square selected, let's make it a bit more square. Like, uh, if you just hit Make Instancer. So now, if we press play, you can see it sort of. Let's get rid of that. It's going to start getting heavy soon. No, not yet. But you've got a nice sea of uh, polygons. Um, as there's more to this um, than you can see here, but I'll just be ending up rambling for ages if I carry on too much longer. So let's do less. Get it. 
So if we want to change it so it's a uh, a volume instead of a curve, make the volume bigger, and it should yeah. So it's now coming out of the volume I've just created. So that's nice and simple. There it is. One last thing on here. So I've got. Um, I can, if I hit this button here, it will actually create a fluid container. And all I need to do is if I attach this to that, and get rid of that. And let's hope. Where's the emitter? Ramp it up. Dum, 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 dum. What am I looking for? Uh, Oh yeah, I want the fluid shape. Let's make it so it's so now the instance particles that were on there are now following the shape of of the fluid. So if I make this a little bit more hectic, it's quite a lot hectic. So you could get some quite cool. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So basically, it reacts to the uh, to the actual um, fluid. So unfortunately, there is an extra step at the moment to connect it up. But I'm gonna hopefully make it so you don't have to do that extra step. But you can connect the particles to the fluids. Let's turn them back on so you can see them. So, so you can still see the dust clouds as well. So you can get some quite cool effects quite quickly. Okay, um yeah when it's when I'm happy with it I'll stick it on my uh, blog on my website. Cool. Thanks.